Well, hey, how you doing, everybody? It's me, Waddles. Last year, as part of this week, I dropped this video right here. It is that very piece right there that has inspired what we're going to try and do today. 1.20 is a great update with a lot of great features. Today, we're going to take a look at the major ones, beginning with this sweet beauty right here. Oh, wow, smithing table. You look new. So new. Originally added in 1.14, updated in 1.16, and then boom, totally overhauled in 1.20. As part of the smithing table overhaul, we get this brand new item called armor trims. Now, armor trims are one of the biggest parts of Minecraft 1.20. No chance I could check out all 16 today. Look, if you're out of the loop, you're kind of lucky. I wish I could react to these things for the first time ever again because... <laughs> Look at this stuff. This stuff is insane. Armor is never going to be the same. Long story short with this stuff, there are 16 different versions, and you'll be heading all over your world to find them. Uh, oh, that's not a shipwreck. Uh, I don't think we have time for shenanigans today. Let's move on. For our next gigantically significant update, let's go to the nether. Once we're inside of the nether, the next stop is going to be a piglin bastion. You need to go and find one of those, because if you want netherite, that's the first stop now. Inside of some of the piglin bastion chests, you'll be able to find this fancy netherite upgrade item. Take the netherite upgrade item, combine it with diamond and smithing table, so it's somewhere safe, and voila, you get netherite. It's hard. All right, after that one, I need to change of pace. So over back in the overworld, we'll craft one of the most expensive things in the entire game. The brand new hanging sign. Lads, wow, this thing is expensive, but also at the same time, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It looks so good. You could die it just like a normal sign, and speaking of normal signs, you can now actually interact with the back of the sign as well, and add a completely different word to the back. You could also dye the back side completely separately from the front side, and wax them too, so you can never change them again. Wow, it's beautiful. Next on our list today, we got something that will absolutely revolutionize book storage forever. Yeah, yeah maybe. At the least, just a really cool redstone thing. When it comes to the chisel bookshelf, there are so many possibilities. You could use this thing for plain old storage. You could use this thing for a secret door. You could maybe even use this thing for a secret switch to activate, like, I don't know, your farm or something. It's really cool. I love that the devs actually listen to the community after, like, 10 years or something and actually add this thing to the game. It's wonderful. So far, all of that stuff is great. But friends, to be honest, you should prioritize the desert village in 1.20 because there is a bodacious beauty waiting here. In a relatively rare 1.20 edition, you've got the camel. You're going to be able to find these things generating in with the desert village. There will only be one inside of every desert village, which is sad because, I mean, this thing, well, according to the game's subtitles, this thing yeets, and it yeets good. To be honest, there's a lot to the camel, including the fact that two people can ride it and that it's too tall for zombies to reach you when you're on top of it. And well, lads, wow, we're actually making stunningly gorgeous timing on our run of 1.20 features. We're doing so good here. We could probably even slow down a little. 1.20 is a huge update, which makes it kind of a surprise that this update only adds two mobs to the game. To check out the next mob, we begin with this gigantic looking box right here. When it comes to the grind that you're going to have to take on to get this absolutely massive looking box thing, uh, oh man, it's a lot, and I've been testing it, and e uh, oh, well, we'll just say it's a lot today. It's a lot. However, you go through a lot, you get this egg, you place it on, you let it hatch, and boom, eventually you get sweet to baby sniffer. Or, uh, yeah, snifflet. Snifflet. It's called a snifflet. Give that sweet baby sniffler enough time, and eventually it grows into beautiful monstrosity that is Minecraft's best mob. Maybe, I, honestly, maybe ever. Look at this thing, it's gorgeous. On one hand, it's kind of sad that 1.20 only adds two mobs, but on the other hand, oh, wow, it is perfection. If we're gonna get the camel and the sniffer in this update, I mean, look, I I'll take two mobs. I'll settle. It's wonderful. So aesthetically, not only is the newest mob boat winner at the pinnacle, but also uh, animation-wise, your chef's kiss is beautiful. If we give the sniffer a little bit of time, it'll walk around and sniff the ground, eventually dramatically throw itself on the ground there, and then start digging. Give it a little bit more time and poof. <laughs> Just like that, we get a brand new. Uh, it actually stinks, but it's so proud of it. <laughs> All right, so I'll admit it on first inspection, this new item, the, the pitcher pod, it doesn't exactly look uh, appetizing, you could say. However, the pitcher pod and the other item that the sniffer could dig up sometimes, the torch flower seed item, oh, they're both big giant deals. 1.20 comes with a handful of brand new plants, including two beautiful ancient ones. We've got the pitcher pod plant that you'll plant on farmland, and we have the torch flower plant that you'll also plant on farmland. 
Find the different seed items from the sniffer, plant these things on farmland and let them grow up, and wow, you have two of the most beautiful flowers in the whole game. It's a shame they're so rare, it's like so hard to get, because they're beautiful. Two brand new sniffer plants in Minecraft 1.20, two beautiful wood families in 1.22. First off, we've got bamboo. This thing was announced a million years ago. There's a lot of reasons that bamboo is absolutely amazing, but one of them is how it's actually gotten. If you want bamboo wood, well, then you gotta farm the bamboo plant. You'll farm enough of the bamboo plant and eventually you'll be able to craft this thing. Then you can bring it down even farther. Or, my friend, you can just place it down and admire it because <laughs> it's not only yellow wood, but it's also green wood as well. And a fancy new boat too that these pigs, they, they seem to actually love here. It's wonderful. Really, I could go on all day long about bamboo wood and cherry wood, but I can't today. Cherry wood is interesting for a few different reasons, including the fact that it's not only Minecraft's lightest wood, but also the darkest one too. Cherry wood is an absolutely stunning pink wood type that you'll have to hedge with though. Oh, we haven't talked about it yet, oh no. Cherry wood is an absolutely stunning wood type that you'll have to head over to the brand new cherry grove biome to be able to find. Inside of the cherry grove biome, you'll find this brand new pink petal flower. It's pretty nice. The pink petal flower's big claim to fame is the fact that right now, it's the only flower that you can place four of on one block, just like the sea pickle. And of course, we can't forget the only biome that's added to the game in 1.20. Yeah, hopefully you find a cherry grove biome a little bit bigger than one I found here, because this biome, it's all about the ambiance with that particle effect, and of course, the beautiful tree. Aside from the aesthetics, one thing I'm absolutely obsessed with when it comes to this biome is that watercolor. Oh my gosh, look at how good it is with that green grass, wow. Minecraft 1.20, the Trails and Tales update, it's an exploration update. Somewhere at some point, while you're explorationing, you're bound to come across one of these things. This is called the Trail Ruins, it's a new structure. The Trail Ruins is home to one of the two brand new sus blocks in the game. You're gonna find a lot of sus gravel in the Trail Ruins, but you can find sus sand around your world too now. These sus blocks are one of the coolest ways to get loot in Minecraft. If you find one of these things, bring a brush with you over to this thing and start brushing away the block. Slowly, as you do that, you'll actually find an item here. Purple candle. Oh, that's fire. That's so good. Now, the trailer and structure, it's a super interesting one. First off, there is like a million different components to this thing, making it one of the most diverse structures in the entire game. With a trailer and structure and the whole archaeology mechanic as a whole being added in this update, the devs are telling some kind of strange story of the past. Just like raids in 1.14, the archaeology system is unlike anything in the entire game. And there's a lot to it. The biggest prize of this archaeology system right now is probably the shirts. We've got 20 in 1.20. Once you've done enough sharding, which is the technical name for it by the way, take your shirts, put them inside of a crafting table in any shape as long as you got four, and then voila! You, my friend, have just crafted the beautiful decorated pot item. One of the best storytelling things in the entire game. And I look great too. Well, friends, terrible news. Take a look at the timer here. We're solidly running out of time, and we've got a lot of changes left. But really three big ones. First up, we got that beautiful brand new Trail Ruins music disc. Just like the shirts, you'll be able to find this at the Trail Ruins dig sites. Unfortunately, look at the time here. I don't think we have time to listen to the full disc or really even a part of it. But the general vibe of it is... Well, it's RuneScape. Yeah. <laughs> also, if you're into redstone with music discs, this thing has a signal strength of 14. Oh, and hey, I almost forgot. Speaking of sounds, if you put a mob head on a note block and play that mob head, it makes a mob head sound out. It's cool. And what is one of the hardest things to find in the entire update? <laughs> you got this beautiful helmet that I'm wearing right here. I don't even want to tell you the effort you have to go through to get this thing. It's bad. And finally, for our look at the major updates in 1.20 today, we've done it. The Amethyst Skulk Sensor. And it changed the shock of literally the entire community when it was added. You got a brand new version of the Skulk Sensor in 1.20. And maybe even more fascinating, we got a brand new mechanic called Vibration Resonance, where you can relay signals. All this stuff is crazy. But when it comes to vibes, oh, just you wait because there's even more. When it comes to vibrations, every single amount has been adjusted and changed for the 1.20 update. This stuff is crazy. It's got a big overhaul. <clears throat> oh, and completely unrelated to vibes, last and definitely not least, just about every structure in the game has been updated in this update. Always big. And I don't know how I almost forgot. Every single major update in Minecraft 1.20. Did I miss one if I did call me out down below? But lads, we just about done it. For more cool videos, smash sub. Once the update drops, I'll get a detailed guide of the whole update and a brand new series. You don't want to miss it. Like if you liked it, check out this one next and I'm out of time. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Goodbye.